for DK Shivkumar who's just received his certification of victory. Uh, what does that really mean? How many times has DK won? Uh, yeah, this is the eighth time that he's won. Seven times uh, from Satnur, Satnur and Kanakpura. Yeah. What we are picking up right now is he's, he has won from a margin of one lakh votes. Yeah. That's that's a large margin for uh, any MLA, right? And, and, and this despite the heavyweight minister R. Ashok of the BJP being if, if, if I'm not wrong, Mr. R. Ashok has gone to third spot in uh, Kanakpura. JDS has come second and Mr. Shivkumar himself is number one. So he also has a lot to sell to his people, right? Uh, Kanakpura voted for him. If you see the one lakh margin, seems like they voted for him to be the chief, chief minister. That seemed to be selling point. And also the Wakliga community, if my data is not right, 7% of the extra votes that Congress in the old Mysore region has come through the Wakliga community. Maybe that was communicated that if we vote for Wakliga, might be a chance for him to become the chief minister. Right. That was also an important point in old Mysore region. Well, at the end of it, it appears that all the big guns of the Congress have made it. But uh, a very interesting, if you're showing the visuals here of uh, DK Shiv Kumar, uh, the, that's him uh, receiving his certification in Kanakpura. But in the same reference, I want to uh, evoke the margin of Dinesh Gundurao. Uh, you know, it, it, it's such a slender margin with which Gundurao has won. 110 odd votes. That's shocking. That clearly shows anti incumbency as well, right? It's a, winning with, with beer margin of 120, 160, 150 votes shows, even with 50 people voting on the other side, few houses. Would the fate of the candidate would have changed? Not just Dinesh. I'm told even Soumya Reddy is winning with a slight thin margin of 150 votes or maximum 250 votes. So, so you know, from what I see then, uh, Nagarjun, it's not about the BJP or the Congress. It's about it's about a neta, a non-performing neta, if at all, and, or or rather, uh, you know, people maybe either bored or just um, are, are not seeing any more improvement, want to give someone else a chance. So anti-incumbency is a real factor irrespective of party lines. So even the tallest of Congress leaders have faced uh, a very, very tough fight this time. That's true. In fact, uh, in Bangalore City as well, Muniratna, who was the senior most BJP MLA in that, he had won in Congress ticket. He was undisputed. He won in the by-election. Uh, we don't still don't know uh, if he's leading or trailing, but... Uh, he, he was trailing. He was trailing. So, and Ms. Kusuma, who was a can weak candidate, considered the weak candidate from the BJP, yeah. was leaving. So, people decided that to teach a lesson, and these are the points that we have to make note. M Most Muniratna the is a turncoat. He turn jumped court. from the Congress now to the BJP. So, he's a BJP candidate there. And, and, and if you see, trailing. most of the turncoats are losing today. Yes. Uh, be it Narayan Gowda in KR Pete, Muniratna, we still are yet to find out if he's winning or losing, but he was trailing a, a few days, a few hours behind. Yeah. Mr. Sudhakar uh, has lost. Right. So it's big message that people will say after five right. years, we take our call. Absolutely. It is the people's call because that's what we saw the fate of Jagdish Shatar. As, uh, as confident as Shatar was when he jumped to the Congress, uh, in fact, it was such a big move that the BJP thought, or, or at least that was a narrative that was uh, all across, that this is a big, big blow to the BJP. May have been, but Jagdish Shatar himself could not hold his seat. That's true. In fact, and what uh, a huge margin he's lost with. Mahesh Tenginkai uh, of the BJP, who took the shattered seat, has got up to 60, 65,000 votes. Traditionally, BJP used to get 50 odd thousand votes, but people of Hubli uh, maybe didn't like Shetter moving. Congress also, if you speak to them in the hindsight, say that we should have made Shetter contest as independent and not take him into the Congress. Mm. If Shetter had contested independent, uh, there would be chances of uh, uh, BJP losing with a three-way fight and the Congress. And, and a sympathy factor to Shetter, maybe in that sense. That's true as well. But he would be a different a vote cutter. It would not be a two-way fight. The moment it's two-way fight, advantage BJP is what we saw today. And and we saw that BS Yadurapa had put all his might, had got all the Lingayat leaders together, held a meeting uh, within with one name and intention, and ensure that Jagdish Shatter loses. That's that's absolutely right as well. You spoke about uh, Mr. Yadurapa. We also heard a few hours back uh, Mr. Leher Singh, who's yeah. close associate of Yadurapa, saying that we are completely shocked. We might even go below 80. This was at 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock in the noon. Uh, clearly, the numbers are showing uh, below 80 for yeah. the BJP. Uh, Yadurapa is in a state of shock, is what Leher Singh says, and he didn't want to come out back then, but he has come out uh, to the media and spoken uh, an hour back or so, saying that I can't see different. The silent uh, uh, point right here is the spectators, Mr. Kumar Swami. Mm. All of us thought he would be the joker in the pack. He would be the king maker. He moved early in the morning from his house to Taj Western so that negotiations would take up there. Uh, but unfortunately for him and JDS, they'll have to wait for another five years.